Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic and our Season of Mastery playthrough. We are back in the wetlands today because this is the best place for us to be right now. Tried getting together a group for the Elite Quest over in Red Ridge, but there just doesn't seem to be a lot of people doing that quest right now. Wasn't able to find a group. So yeah, we're back here to work on some of the solo stuff we can do in the wetlands. So we can look for giant crocolis skins, we can find Sita's bag. And more importantly, uh, we're going to find the Green Warden because this is a green quest. And I know he's going to have a couple of follow-up quests for us to do that could also be green. So we're heading out to the east. We need to get to this island. I'm about 85% sure that's where he's at. Uh, I've searched through here before, so I know he's not on any of these. Uh, and I remember him being on an island, and from a distance away you can see like strange mushroom trees. Uh, and some other stuff going on that looks visually unique. So once we're close, we should be able to see him in the distance. And we'll see what he has for us. I know these Merc Striders, or whatever they are, the hulking vine-covered swamp thing guys, uh, we need to kill those for somebody so I'm thinking he's gonna want us to take care of some of those but we'll wait and see hope you guys are all doing well today I have wanted to do some more dungeons I just haven't really been getting the time uh, in the evenings that I would use to do that and the other issue is like we're leveling pretty quickly so, we're, we're in range to be doing Shadowfang Keep, but as an Alliance member, we don't have a lot of quests we can even get for Shadowfang Keep. And it's a little bit of a run. The run isn't really that big of a deal. But the fact that we're not going to get any quests there as Alliance, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Also, with us leveling as quickly as we are, I've just been wondering how much I want to focus on rerunning dungeons. Like, I had thought to do another Deadmines run, but then we kind of out-leveled it. And in a couple more levels, we'll be out-leveling Shadowfang Keep. Now, I do have three quests to go into the stockade, so that's definitely going to happen to get those quests done. Something happened with my Defias Brotherhood chain that I, I didn't get the uh, follow-up to go into the Deadmines. I think it had to do with, with the letter. Somehow maybe I scrapped my letter, or I never got the I never got the quest where you escort the traitor. There's a Defias traitor that you escort. I remember that, and I saw other people doing it, and we never got that, so uh, somewhere I messed something up. And yeah, 85% chance to miss, because the Green Warden is not here, uh, and I don't know where he's at. That was, oh look, maybe he's, well, I don't know what that is. We'll go check that out. It doesn't look like where he's at, uh, but it's something. Yeah, and then in that case, like I said, I have no idea where this guy is. Uh, we could come down here. I know he's not all the way down there. Let's come over here for a second. Alright, there he is actually. Uh, pretty close to where I thought. I don't know why I thought he was on the island. Uh, this whelp we absolutely don't need. Okay, we need to start to get some actual big hits in here. You know, deal some damage to the guy. Okay, another miss. Perfect, perfect, good. Okay, there we go. So if you're looking for the Green Warden, he is a little bit north of that island. Maybe that was something I just used as a landmark, but yeah, I had a memory of him being on an island. 
The roots and ferns speak well of you, small one. Although I have many names, I answer to only a few, but you may call me Rethiel. And you must hearken, for these lands weep from festered wounds, and I would charge you to heal them. The Mossai Knolls have lived in the wetlands peacefully for many years, but now grow in numbers. Their feet stamp flat the fens, bushes, and flowers, and their foul axes cut too much wood for their fuel to fuel their fires. They are no longer in balance with the land. For the wetlands to survive, the knolls must be reduced. Kill 15 knolls and 10 mongrels. Hunt them to the south near the dwarven gate of Algaz. Alright, that's pretty clear. Is that all he has? Yeah, that's all he has for now. Let's go do this, and we will watch out for slimes along the way, because yeah, this is a green quest, so... Don't really want to lose it. And maybe we'll get lucky and one of the slimes will drop Sita's bag. Well, the bad news is those guys can kind of stomp us. The good news is I do have food if we need it. And we can make a lot more, well not a lot more, but we can make five more heavy wool bandages. That'll help immensely. And of course I had to do a cut there, and as soon as I did that, as I was cutting back in, uh, the bag dropped. So, that's good, there we go. That's a quest complete there, now we can just focus on the knolls. And maybe on avoiding these fire whelps that we don't need. Let's come over here and we'll get the mage royal, and then we'll take kind of a more direct route down to Algaz. Yeah, these Fen Dwellers, he's going to ask us to deal with some of these Fen Dwellers at some point, maybe after we take care of the Knolls for him. I was kind of hoping he'd have two quests we could work on at the same time, but we are not so lucky as that. Young Wetland, Crocolisks. Maybe, maybe some of the older ones are over here, I really can't recall. Uh, we have Fen Runners, and there's a Mongrel up here. Over here we still have young wetlands crocolisks. Maybe I should read the quest again and see where those are going to be at. Oh, these ones are north up the coast, beyond the Murloc hovels. Okay, so yeah, we're not anywhere near. They must be talking about up here? Yeah, I guess we'll be getting to that later on. Now we don't need the Fen Runners at all, so I, I'm kind of avoiding them. Uh, but also, we're not really close to the gate. So we can fight the Mongrels out here. But we need 15 Knolls, and since we haven't seen any Knolls yet, we should probably keep heading to the south. See, there's a Knoll. Yeah, we're getting probably closer to where we should be to be optimal.
well, it was worth a shot. Thought, hey, a kill quest, hey, a group, that'll make it easier. Apparently, it is not to be. And yeah, they are they are definitely grouped up. Hey, there we go. That'll make this a little smoother and a lot more enjoyable. Now, I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can bust up this camp. Do we need these Mistweavers? Not particularly. I don't really want to try to bust that up. Oh, they went for... Well, they went for the guy on the outskirts. Uh, we'll, uh, it's not looking too great. Okay, I think they pulled everything. I think they pulled everything, like... To be fair... We're not in combat right now. Uh, but I guess we should get in here and just see if we can help. As long as we don't uh, get the aggro from this caster, we should be okay. I'm not going to run back there for the caster because then we'll aggro these other two who seem to be perfectly fine and not engaging in this. Okay, now we'll go in and we'll get these other guys. Most likely, yeah, here they come. This pet is about to go down. The pet is dead. Uh, now we have all the aggro. Let's go ahead and blow a retaliation here. Well, they didn't stay on us like I would have wanted them to for retaliation to be most effective. I see that we're getting instant respawns. That's always a good sign that you're doing something right. Definitely the way to go with this uh, was getting into this group and just pulling these camps. Great idea. Glad to be here. Thank you, Falcona and Iker. It's so much more fun when uh, every once in a while you can get into a group and just, just mow down a camp. You know, a lot of the time when you're solo, you have to be tactical. You have to avoid the bigger camps. You have to avoid places where the respawn rate sucks. Uh, there's so many things you have to be mindful of. And when you're in a group, you can basically forget about most of that. And if they're normal enemies and not elites, you can uh, just crush entire camps. And that's fun. Crushing entire camps in the open world in a group is just its plain fun. You don't have to feel pity or remorse or fear when you're grouped up. We don't even need these guys anymore. We need... we need gnolls. Ah, uh, there's one over here.
definitely a uh, semi-broken respawn rate, though. Uh, no thanks to us, I'm sure. Let's get a bandage in before we do any more here. Lots of mongrels popping up. Yeah, I guess also dual hunters is probably incredibly overpowered, so two pets that can tank. Uh, that's, that's a way to level if you can play with somebody. Just go dual hunters and, and steamroll everything. Uh, that's a mist weaver. This doesn't seem to be like a big uh, gathering for gnolls. Let's come over here and see if we can tag this one. And we can loot. Let's definitely get in here and loot all these things, though. We don't want to leave this loot laying on the ground. And yeah, that's 15 out of 15. That's that's all we need. I'm going to slowly start backing out here. And yeah, I think it would be fun just to stay here and farm these, but I, I think optimally we do want to get going and turn the quest in. So yeah, let's get going. That was a lot of fun. That got it done a lot faster than we would have done alone. And I probably just need to be more aggressive about just inviting people I see. Those people I would have invited if they were in a group. So we will try to use the slash say. Get that floating text up in front of people's faces and try to share some of these kill quests. I feel like if you have a group like that, even if you're collecting items, it's probably more efficient because you're killing things so quickly. And there's, like, no danger in overpulling regular mobs. I mean, yeah, I guess you could pull, like, 10 or 15 of them, and then that would probably cause some issues. But I feel like you might still be able to work through it if you had two hunters. You just have to split the damage enough ways while you whittle them down. Alright, not too far of a run to get back either, so that's good. There are some elite dwarf quests uh, up to the north, up here. I just don't know what level those are going to be at. And I don't think we grabbed any when we were up there. Which seems kind of weird. Uh, maybe we couldn't grab them yet when we went up there. By reducing the gnolls' numbers, you have tended to the health of the wetlands, although my faith in your people has been taxed in the past, human. It may yet be restored. The moss hides are cutting the trees of the wetlands, using the trees' flesh to warm themselves with fire. I will suffer this pain no longer. Rid the moss hides of their crude flints, the tools they use to make fire. The flints are borne by all moss hides except the smaller moss hide gnolls in them. So, they're like, don't go kill the same guys again. Kill some different guys. So the gnolls and the mongrels that we were just fighting, they're not going to have these. And so we're probably looking around this area uh, at the gnolls over here. 
Let's see if we can find some gnolls over here. I remember them being around level 25 when we were looking at them before. But let's come out here and try to find them. Alright, I think we're coming up on some gnolls here. Oh! <laughs> Hello again. That's actually really funny. That, yeah, we, I guess we could have just stayed grouped up and then turned that all in together and then ran out here. That could have been something to do. Uh, what about these guys over here? What about the, uh, about this camp, guys? What's going on with this camp? What do the Fen Runners do, I wonder? Uh, they run into melee, which is great. The respawn rate on this camp does not seem as broken as the one down in the south, so maybe if we come over here and clear this one out, we can kind of alternate between the two. I wonder if they have a quest for these raptors, because they, they seem... They seem to be almost intentionally fighting the raptors. Yeah, that's right. Come this way, this way. Uh, we have one crude flint already, so that's good. The funny thing is, none of the other guys in this camp seem to care at all that that just happened. Alright, we can do that again. I'm going to approach from the far side here. We're going to focus on hopefully getting this caster down as quickly as possible. There we go. I wonder if the loot is set to free-for-all. Hmm. This time when we run back, we'll just stay in this group and we'll see if this is going to chain into anything else. Uh, what about our camp down the hill here? How is that looking? Oh, uh, it's looking empty still. Nobody, nobody back up here. There's no bodies though, so... Could be back up any minute. Don't really see any other nearby camps. Yeah, no doubt there are more camps somewhere, probably far back to the west, uh, if we were to go a ways to the west. I'm gonna come down here and loot this briar- oh, oh, we're getting beat there by a druid. Yep. Oh no! Oh yeah, they are- they're taking it! Okay, on to the mage royal. Yeah, we really need Briarthorn, though. Uh, especially if we want to make any more potions. Looks like maybe we're getting some respawns, uh, or not. It's always weird when you see that the camps in the south, the way they reacted to us defeating them quickly, was that the respawn rate was really, really high. And up here, the opposite is true. The respawn rate seems really, really low. Uh, they're heading off further to the west. Uh, let's let's follow them. 
Maybe the grass is greener on the other side of the road here. This looks good. Definitely charge in here, but I'd like to wait to actually be able to charge. Uh, let's go in on one of these guys. There we go. Alright, looks like we recruited some additional help here, the druid who was stealing herbs from us. I say stealing, but I mean... Just joking. Yeah, the loot's gotta be on free-for-all. I don't know why else we would be able to loot so many. I guess I should stop looting every single body then. That would be a good idea. Uh, what else? Any other camps near here? I see one across the river. Uh, do they see it? Oh, they see something. This is not the greatest situation to be in with uh, three of them hitting us. We have potions, but we're going to have to actually clear some of these guys. Let's hit a potion while we can. Four out of nine, not bad. Uh, again, trying not to loot everything. Yeah, let's go for this huge camp. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Uh, we lost the druid, though. Maybe he was done? Maybe we could pull this one on its own. There we go. That will help a little bit once we pull the big camp. One of these guys is sort of in the ground. I want to see some pets go in first. There we go. Not sure what we're going to do about this one who is literally inside of the ground. I think maybe we're going to be stuck in combat with it? Can we hit it? No, not really. It can hit us though. It can definitely hit us.
Ninjad. Ninjad. <laughs> One of them is done with it. Uh, we need two more. And yeah, maybe it's time to head back to... Uh, well, this camp right over here looks good. We take this guy out first. How much ammo do I have left? 152 shots. Yeah, that seems like it might last a little while at the rate that we use it. Alright, let's line them up and knock them down. When they all get left on us, it's sad. Let's take one of them. Oh, now the caster's on us too, that's going to be a huge problem. Pop that potion to maybe save our lives here. I'm going to have to maybe range the casters with both of them on us. Uh, we're not going to live much longer. And yeah, ranging them isn't really happening. Uh, there we go. Oh, nope. Nope. No! <laughs> we can't do anything else, guys. Let's get a bandage in. Maybe we can do that. Oh, gosh. That was a close one. Whew. Looks like we're going to live. I am about to ninja all of these, though. Oh, go ahead, get that one. Okay, we will. Well, you know, there was no roll on that, but they were cloth. Uh, maybe over here? I can't assume that they need too many more. I only saw one of their quest completes. If they do need any more, I mean clearing one more camp should do it if we if two of us have completed it. Uh, otherwise, let's head back down to the Green Warden. They are, uh, they're going for another camp, maybe? I kind of want to stick with them, just in case this chains into something else, uh, or, or anything more challenging, like maybe an elite quest. So, yeah, we'll stick this out. This, uh, we have to be a little bit careful here. Uh, like, this is the situation that I don't want to be in. Uh, where we have all these guys hitting us all at once. Okay. Yeah. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Let's go die over here. I don't have any... Tried to get the fear off, uh, just to help out a little bit, but that did not happen. And how far? Oh, we're not we're not a very far run. We could get back before they die. Now, if we do get back, uh, do we just jump right into combat? I think we have to make a bandage and heal. We could eat. Let's eat. We'll get our health back, and then we'll we'll play cleanup if there's anything left. It looks like they got it. I mean, that's just pretty incredible. Uh, but they did it anyway. We didn't help very much. Besides maybe initially kiting them around like a mad person, we didn't really do a lot to help. I'm getting a lot of null gloves of casting. I feel bad that we keep looting all these greens, but... They've gotta be done now, right? Gotta be done. 
Well, I'm gonna head back down to the green man, and we can we can stay in the group and kind of see what they do, but I just don't imagine that uh, the other person has not completed theirs. Maybe they haven't. They're running over like they're gonna do another pull. Like I said, I'd, I'd love to stay grouped up with these guys, so I don't want to abandon them. I'm just having a hard time believing that they need any more of the item. Hmm. And it's not like it's great kill experience, because, you know, they're not elites, so... We're getting a lot of random green items, that's true. I hope me looting them isn't stopping them from being able to get the item. Maybe I just need to stop looting everything. Uh, I don't know if rushing in here is the best. Yeah, let's do that. I really just don't want to get aggro on the caster. That's that's my main concern. Is that as long as the casters are well see, this is the weird thing, is like all of a sudden the casters are hitting me. I haven't hit the casters. I haven't done anything to the casters. I wasn't the closest to the casters. And once these guys start hitting you, you really can't pull them out of where they're at. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run back here for a minute. This guy is back on me again. Yeah, the casters make this hard for us. If it was just the melee guys, we'd probably fare a lot better. I definitely need some more bandages, so let's go ahead and take a second here to make some of those. They clearly don't need our help very much. It's probably nice to have another body as a distraction, but... Uh, here's me hoping that they're done now. Oh, they're not. Alright, I gotta go back and see what the follow-up is. I mean, I could follow these guys around forever, but for all I know, they're just out here farming it because they like doing this. Uh, and without any more communication... Can't really make that decision. I do not know why, but a festering grows within the wetlands. Fen creepers have risen. They are diseased. Fevered blisters on the land. And for the fever to break, they must be dispatched and allowed to settle back into the marshes. The fen creepers shamble amidst the waterways of the wetlands. Kill 12 fen creepers and return here. Ah, uh, for a chest upgrade, that would be good if it had strength and not spirit. Forest chain? That looks cool. Uh, but we're probably not going to use it. Maybe we take the one-handed sword? And yeah, then we can f figure out where these guys are going to be at. Blisters on the land, fen creepers, so maybe- are these the guys that are in stealth, maybe? Yeah, I feel like these are the guys that are in stealth. Maybe they're going to be more over here to the uh, northeast. <laughs> 